I'm Rick Hansen, a psychologist and meditation teacher, and I wanted to express my gratitude truly from the heart for everyone who is serving others during this time of the coronavirus. And in particular, I want to express my gratitude to healthcare providers, doctors, nurses, other healthcare staff, other hospital staff, as well as uh, first responders, paramedics, firefighters, people in law enforcement, everyone who's coming together to um, help us all really get through this time of an epidemic. And I've been asked if I could offer a brief guided meditation that's really specific, especially for people who are dealing uh, with others who are ill uh, in healthcare environments. And I hope that this will be of value to, to others too. So to begin, briefly, I like to start with three breaths in which the first simply is a sense of your body. The second focuses on the feeling of caring for others as you stay in touch with your body while you breathe. And then the third breath focuses on the feeling of being cared about by others, friends, comrades, teachers, people who love you, people who like you, that. And the point is to focus on the feeling of it. So three breaths, uh, I'll do it with you, and then I'll offer a few other suggestions. And as with any kind of suggestion, uh, feel free, of course, to adapt them to your own needs and to find what's helpful for you. Okay, so... I'll do it with you kind of quietly. I won't give any instruction while I'm doing it with you. The three breaths, feeling your body, focusing on caring, and then focusing on feeling cared about. Here we go. As you continue to be aware of your body, see if you can have a growing sense of your body as a whole. You might like to start with the sense of your chest as a whole as you breathe, sensations on the left and on the right, and left and right together. Also the front and the back together, the bottom and the top of the torso together, and gradually getting a sense of your body as a whole as you remain aware of the sensations of breathing. As you gradually establish a growing stability of presence, steadily here in the present, being here, there can be an including of whatever you're feeling, even things that have maybe been necessarily pushed to the background just to get through the day, allowing them to come forward. So having both the stability of awareness of the body, the feeling of being, while allowing so many other things to flow through your awareness, stresses, worries, feeling appalled, grieving, anything, staying in touch with breathing, 
remaining aware of the continuity of being while also allowing all kinds of reactions to bubble up and let go. It's like remaining in touch with what feels stable, breathing, the body ongoing, simply being, while also popping the lids, maybe, on some things that have just been pushed aside or are already in your awareness and letting them flow. Maybe particularly as you exhale, a sense of releasing. (sighs) Letting go of tension in the body. Letting weariness flow. Letting go of grief, sorrow, not pushing it anything away, more just uh, opening to the flow of it and letting it go. And there can be a very clear experience of being, in effect, the space through which these experiences pass, like being the sky through which storm clouds move. Sky of awareness, the storm clouds of experiences, the space of being in which doing occurs, You can have a sense of this. And whenever it feels right to you, you can start to shift the focus from releasing to receiving, letting in. Whatever you find comforting, supportive, hopeful, beneficial at this time. So, for example, there can be a receiving into yourself um, a feeling of compassion for those who are burdened by this time, focusing mainly on your good wishes for them. Perhaps starting with colleagues, bringing to mind others that you work with or know about, perhaps their families, and 
focusing mainly on your good wishes for them. You could also bring to mind patients or clients or other uh, vulnerable people and emphasize, focus on the feeling of kindness for them that's natural to you. Just getting in touch with the kindness that's natural to you, your lovingness fundamentally. Resting in, in your warm heartedness, your good heart. You can also let in whatever you're thankful for. These beneficial experiences that we receive into ourselves don't change what is painful or harmful, but they help us bear it better and they help us cope with it better. So it's not about using the positive to cover over the negative. It's more recognizing what is also true, including in this meditation, some of the many things you feel grateful for or glad about. We can also receive into ourselves a feeling of acceptance for the way it is. Not that we prefer it, but that we can recognize the reality of it. So if you can, focusing on a sense of acceptance, surrender, surrender, It is the way it is. We can still do what we can to change it while accepting the way it is. Taking some time together here. Focusing on feelings of acceptance. non-resistance to the way it is, even while knowing that you can be lived by your beneficial purposes, your duty, your service, the movement toward others. We can be lived by that even as we accept and surrender to the reality that is.
And so we'll take a final minute here or so to simply helping whatever is beneficial for you in this practice to really sink in, weaving its way, becoming hardwired in some sense into your own being, sinking into you as you yourself become increasingly established in calm and strength, compassion, and gratitude. Thank you.